have fun. Good morning. After the success of our little sheep hurdle gate in our last vlog, we're going to be having a go at sorting out how we can put the external gate out. So what we've done is we've put it in place. Let me just show you that. And now Simon is streaming around it. Well, that's made a big difference already. I just think it's going to be so much better to have a gate here. I can also bring the, the horse box all the way down here and load here. So that'll be just so much easier. It also means we'll have access to the fields that you can ride on, which are all the way around here. They're not, they're not that big. I'd say it's about oh, three kilometers all the way around. But three kilometers is better than nothing. And I can long rein around that. Yeah, really get her muscle up. So yeah, it's gotta be a good thing, surely. Yeah, plus, and this is what I really wanna do. I really wanna be able to get baby Dream so that I can take him for walks. But that's how I'm gonna get him used to seeing new surroundings. And I can also take him just down the road and there's quite a busy dual carriageway and that's where i've always got all my horses really road safe they just stand there because there's um a big corner of grass and they can just stand there eat the long grass while getting used to the traffic going past them so that's a top thing that i can do with him So we've dug out the, the lumps that were there. Later on, we'll do that properly. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all right for now. And it's trimmed it, so it's trimmed, it's level. We've put it on bricks so that it's, so the gate is lifted off the floor. I'll just show you that. Okay, so it's lifted about this high off the floor. So. The next problem we've got is the post that we're hanging on. It used to span all the way across here to that post there, which we've measured the gap and it's about 18 foot. So the size of the gate was clearly huge. Now that gate was there because this used to be another separate field here this is such a beautiful field they hate it now but we can also ride all the way around it and there's more access just down there if you can see that point down there and that goes on to another field and a little walkway which is absolutely beautiful but the problem is the fence post that is here had the whole of the middle ripped out by the weight of the old fence so it looks like this. Now I know that's not ideal, but this is absolutely solid. You can't budge it, same with this side, but the whole center section that was completely ripped out by the weight of the gate that went all the way over to this post here. We just don't have the funds to be able to replace that post. We also don't have anything that would be able to dig down that far because it would have to go down quite a few feet, which this one does. So what we're gonna do for now, until we've got the funds to do it, is we're going to brace the post so that it doesn't pin together when we add the furnishings like the, the hanging hooks and hopefully that'll work 
So now it's a case of getting the barbed wire off that is spanned across the gap where we're going to put the fence. This is also an absolutely brilliant tool. It's a barbed wire fence plier. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's all off. We've got an open space, look. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but uh, this fills me with so much happiness. <laughs> to have a gate we'll be able to get out <sighs> oh dear me this is the life i <laughs> there we go much much better That really smells of petrol, creosote, must be creosoted. Yay! So how does that end go in now then? Because it's like square. Just got to hammer it in. Yep. That's a lot of effort, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So far, so good. I want it to lift a little bit, so we'll draw the line there, the top of the bracket. But then I'm going to go slightly higher. Whoa. Whoa. You got it? Yeah. Salt. It's gone straight, straight through into the other one. I have no idea how much this is wonderful. Look at this gate. Look at this gate. Oh look, I can take my horse out. Oh look. Oh it opens. Oh yes. <laughs> oh I don't know what we're going to close it to. How amazing is that? We've actually got a gate that opens and closes. Just got to sort out what it's going to close to now. What we're going to do now is we've got some old scaffold boards that the lovely Dawn bought over that we're going to be making a mountain block out of, but there's a few extra. So we're going to use those to brace the post both sides and then we can bolt it on and it'll be absolutely solid then hopefully. I think this is as good as we're going to get, but at least we've got a gate. I can't really go centre because I need to hit that down. Yeah. Go through the new gate. Come on, it's going to be a whole new, new situation. Oh look, good boy, good boy. Are you frightened? Come on. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh 
Daydream Boy.